Hey, welcome back everyone. We have a quick little video going out today. Just want to talk about some things that I think you should be finishing out as we have just one day and two hours left of set one season one as the time I am making this video. So the thing that I actually want to talk about today is making sure that you have every card that can be earned in the season XP reward path in your inventory now the reason why i'm saying it's probably a good idea to do this today or tomorrow latest definitely before the next season starts is that these cards are at the cheapest they are going to be they may even start to creep up tomorrow before the update as people realize oh wait these cards may be used for a collection later on just because they're set one card does not mean they're not going to be included in a larger set collection later on in the year probably in a month or so who knows usually it's in june when you have your first big flashback and legends collection now i know that they did give you set one collections and we're sure going to get set two collections but that does not mean we're not going to get other sorts of collections as you notice they are giving us core cards to earn in other places like the mexico series and one and all the battle royale cards that aren't the flawless rewards are also core cards so there is going to be something for those cards to be collected in as well, I just think all the cards in general are going to be collected. So I think you should hop on these cards now as they're super cheap. That means going to get the ones that are in this Season 1 XP reward path here. As well as all the Captain's cards. Make sure you buy these cards, okay? You, you should have these cards in your inventory. Most of these cards I do have in my inventory. The only ones I don't currently have in my inventory, which I'm going to be doing today and tomorrow, getting them in my inventory, are the Charisma sets here. Which they're going really, they're going for quick sell right now. Buy them. Buy them. Worst case scenario, I'm wrong. You can quick sell them back. No big deal. Look, somebody is selling it right now for 10000 It's literally no risk. You can quick sell it back. It's probably all of them are like this at this point. Yes, all of them are like this. Just buy them. We have not gotten any confirmation from SDS saying that there is not going to be a Legends and Flashbacks. Kind of like George Brett and Andrew McCutcheon, J-Roll, those kind of cards that we've got in, in the past. So... I'm expecting it to be, so you don't want to be left out in the cold looking at these 97 Charisma cards from set 1 once we get into like midway through set 2 and now they're going for like 50, 60k or even more and you're like, I could have had them for 10k! Hop on them now. Same thing with these WBC cards, they're going really cheap. About quick sell or one or two stubs over. Now the bosses I also think are very important to get right now. They're going for a little bit more, actually they're dropping in price, they were going for like a little, a little more than this yesterday. Yeah, they're dropping a little tiny bit. So definitely get in on these cards as well. I've been, I've been buying these. I think I'm only missing Devin Williams and Ricky Henderson right now. I actually might even sell some of my uh, investments. I know I did say I was going to do a little investment update video uh, today, but I decided against it. Honestly, there isn't much for me to say other than, uh, you know, Jorge Mateo may not be going diamond at this point. He's been really really struggling i know at the last video that i made he was starting he was kind of in a little bit of a slump we were hoping him to get out his overall numbers are still excellent on the year way better than his career stats so i still think he's going to get upgraded to an 83 or an 84 but i think the 85 is a lot less likely at this point it doesn't mean it's not going to happen because he doesn't really need much because his defensive stats are, are his defensive attributes are so good so he doesn't really need much to get there honestly if they were to make him like 65 to 70 across the board in his hitting stats he'd probably make it to and 85 overall or really close but if he makes it to an 84 overall he's actually still a good investment right now uh i digress though and the other one i was saying that i was eh, I'm not so sure about at this point now is max muncie now his power numbers are still great his ops is still really really good uh his defense is kind of poopy though so because of his defense isn't that great that might hold him back i do think he's probably still gonna go gold maybe to an 80 flat overall so he would still be a little bit of a good investment more more or less what i'm saying about muncie and mateo at this point hold on to them just hold on to them see what happens at the update if nothing good happens at the update you know give him some time to maybe uh get back up there but i i do think they're gonna get upgraded it's just to what are they gonna get upgraded to i don't think it makes sense to sell them right now because their prices are tanking and you're gonna lose stubs on it so for me i'm holding on to my max muncies and my jorge mateos and uh, 
I'm going to be selling some other cards that I've been investing into. One quick thing, I just want to say thank you for all the support on my videos as of late, especially these roster update videos. They've been doing fantastic. I've got so many new subscribers. You guys have been great in the comment section as well, which I, I love. I love interacting with you. I respond to every single comment. The likes have been really excellent as well. You know, thousands of views is more than I could have even thought of. And I'm just so grateful that so many of you are coming and watching and liking the video and just interacting with me. It is a ton of fun for me. I really do enjoy it and I really do appreciate it. And if you are new to the channel and you are enjoying the content and you want to go see some of the roster update videos that I did, uh, uh, prediction videos that I did, uh, subscribe to the channel. Go check those out. You enjoy them. Likes, comments. I love it. And uh, yeah, let's get back to the video. Make sure that I get all these cards from these packs as they're at their cheapest right now. And if they are required at some point, they are going to go up and these prices are going to go through the roof so hop on these cards now just do it and you can still use them next season without a wild card so they can still be valuable if you happen to like these cards like Lindor who has a really glitchy swing and switch hitter and a phenomenal defender there and Marakami is a really excellent first baseman probably like a top five first baseman in the game still and or third base honestly so it's just a really 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 some really great cards in here Bob Gibson is the probably the most dominant starting pitcher in the game right now this Devin Williams card is is eh because his pitch mix uh, isn't too hot but it, I know there are are some people that have trouble uh, hitting them and Ricky is yeah, Ricky is Ricky I'm gonna get Ricky you know I, I always feel Ricky cards don't play as well as they should so that's just what it is so it's not really about playing at this point though it's just about getting them at a good price point right now so you're not left in the cold like I said and it might hurt you later on okay guys so this is my video for today I am gonna be putting up a recap video of the roster update probably on Saturday so look out for that. We are going to be talking about some investments that we should get in right after the roster update while cards are getting really cheap as everyone's selling out all their stock. There's going to be lots of cards that you can pick up there that you could probably make tons of stubs on by just sitting on them for a few weeks. All right, guys. So that is the end of the video, and I will see you on Saturday. Later.